Hi, I'm Carol Graham with Praying for Miracles with Carol. Today we're going to talk about something that I'm going to share out of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. I don't know about you, but I think most of us love stories. I love stories. I love telling stories. I love hearing stories. I love sharing miracle stories in particular. And the Bible is full of stories. And if any of you have young children or grandchildren, those are the things that you love to share with them, are the stories that are in the Bible. Also, there are lots of word pictures in the Bible to help us visualize what it is trying to say to us, just as Jesus spoke in parables. So today I'm going to share something out of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, that'll show you a word picture and make you realize who you are in Christ. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, verses 5 to 6, paints us a picture of a cursed man. And that man is described as a shrub in the desert. Now, our mind immediately goes to the old Western movies or whatever, and we see those dried up shrubs or that tumbleweed that is, you know, going through the desert, is being tossed to and fro. It's not a very pretty sight. It's certainly not, it certainly is a dismal image of a human being. And yet Jeremiah describes that person, a cursed person, as a shrub in the desert. Very often I see this even in modern day in our Christian world, were people we look at who claim to be Christians, and yet they are dismal, they are stressed, they are haggard and tired and old-looking and have no joy in them. And I don't care what we are going through. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and it dwells in us, and it should come out. Now, looking further into that, ver into that passage, it doesn't stop at the cursed man. It continues to tell us what a blessed man looks like. It paints a beautiful picture of a blessed man, and this is what it says. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he, not as a shrub in the desert, he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river. It is grounded. It has foundation. And he will not fear when the heat comes. Think about that. But its leaf will be green. And will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will it cease from yielding fruit. Wow! We could take that entire verse apart and look at our lives in relation to it and realize how the world sees us as either a blessed or a cursed man and how God sees us, who only sees us as beautiful and whole and righteous and holy because of what Christ did for us. But we're going to talk about the natural man here for a little bit, and that is, as we may be seen. I want to be seen as blessed. I want the world to know that I have God's favor on me. And that comes because he gives it freely, and our only job is to believe it. And when we understand and realize that God's favor is on us, we will look and act like that blessed man that Jeremiah just described. The point I'm making is, it is our choice. 
we can look at the struggles of life and the the traumas in life and the strife and everything else and what's going on and that you know we don't understand and on and on and on and it shows or we can see ourselves as God sees us as blessed and righteous and pure and holy before him because of what Jesus did for us so it doesn't matter what we're going through let God's light shine from within. Jesus and his dwelling in us causes us to look and act like we are blessed. We are successful. We have it all together. And it's a wonderful place to be because people will have often come up to me over the years, especially after reading my memoir, Battered Hope where it's 12 chapters of constant, unbelievable trauma that most people would not survive even one, let alone 12 or more. And yet through it all, I could maintain that joy and that strength that comes strictly from God and understanding that it doesn't matter what I'm going through. His joy is in me. It is my choice of whether I let it show or not. So see yourself as that tree planted by the waters. It also says in that passage that when the heat comes, you will not fear it. Just like that tree. The heat can come, that intense summer heat, that intense desert heat heat may come, but you will not wither and die. Your roots are planted by the river. It, your roots are drawing water from that river. Your roots make you green and flourish, not dried up and old and tired. This is what the promise that Jeremiah gives us. When we are planted, when we are grounded, when we are seated in the Word of God, it shows that joy that comes from within will show. So even when the heat comes that could dry us up and make us worry and struggle and wonder what we're going to do, we can still be green and flourish because we are tapping into what God has in our innermost being. Therein lies the huge difference between a blessed man and a cursed man. A blessed person and a cursed person. You see, the cursed man didn't see the heat coming. The blessed man knew it was coming, but wasn't concerned. He didn't have the fear. He didn't have the fear about what was going on around him because he knew what he was rooted in. He knew what his foundation was. He knew that God's word promise him, promises him that he is blessed and not cursed. He knew that his life would continue to grow and blossom because of Christ dwelling in him. And so we can have that vitality. We can have that health. We can have that strength. We can have that joy. And we can have all the fruits of our spirit evident in our lives because we have learned to be thankful and look at ourselves as God sees us. We can praise him for that. We can thank him for that, that no matter what we're going through, God promises us that we are strong. We are whole. We are well. We are vital. We are flourishing. And when we come to that place, I believe that is a place of divine health. That joy, that vitality shows on the outside. Isn't that exciting? You see, it is our choice. 
If we want to be downtrodden, if we want to worry about everything, no matter what we're going through, if we can change that attitude, it shows on the outside. There, the, in Jeremiah, it also continues to say that there was a year of drought and severe famine. But you don't have to worry about that when you are planted by that river. The global financial meltdown does not need to concern you. The world crisis, the city crisis, the crisis in, at home, the crisis at your job, the collapse of possibly your investments, the stock markets, the rising inflation. If we look at those things, and that doesn't mean putting your head in, uh, in the sand and, and pretending that they're not there. They are very real. Just as the drought came in Jeremiah's time. But that's not where you stop. That's not what you dwell on. You dwell on the fact that you are being fed from the water of God's word. You are being fed from the tree that flourishes that grows within you because of that word is in you. And so even if it's bad news, no matter where it comes from, we can tap immediately into our spirit man where we have our verses that are embedded into our heart. So whatever the calamity is, we can take that promise that we have in our heart and we pray that as a prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that no matter what is going on around me, I am strong, I am successful, I am healed, I am whole, I am saved because of what you have done for me. And therein I can rejoice. Therein I can get excited. He promises also in that passage that we will not cease from yielding fruit. When we understand how we are planted, how we are grounded, we will not cease from yielding fruit. We can put our trust in God wholly and completely. We make that our prayer of thanksgiving daily, every moment if we need to, to get through something and understand that we will flourish because of Christ dwelling in us. Thank you for listening, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Also, you can contact me by email or through your comments here. Ask me questions. Tell me subjects you would like me to cover. I thank you for that. Mm -hmm.